So I would like to introduce Professor Lakpal. Um, she is a full professor at Harvard University, does some amazing things in collective intelligence and swarm um, intelligence. Um, and recently, I just found out, last year she was um, in nature um, designated as the top 10 scientists to keep a lookout. So um, you are in for a treat. next challenge is programming them. So how do we get from programming three or four robots to programming a large group? And here too, I think some of the challenges have been known for a long time, and there's been a lot of work in this area. Uh, one of the challenges is that, of course, we would like to have the same properties, ideally, that we got with the biological systems. That these systems would be decentralized, you could take out any robot, it would still be robust, it would scale to larger numbers because each one is only doing local interactions, and that's all great. But we don't actually know what global behaviors are possible to get from local interactions. What things, where's the boundary between decentralized and hierarchical or centralized? Our approach um, in this particular case is to take simple behaviors that we understand from biological systems and then use a very computer science technique of thinking about a compiler. Could a user give you a shape or something that you wanted and then I systematically compose these collective behaviors that I know to achieve a more complex behavior that I want. And can we then do it in so systematically that we can prove something about the group? We had to add certain algorithms, for example, to find these robots that were misbehaving in the traffic kind of situation and actually cause them to decide to reboot themselves or take themselves out of the process or something. So it was actually a very interesting um, system. Here you can actually see one of the robots starts and then it gets stuck, and then the other robots actually know to move around it. Uh, as this zooms out, you can kind of see this is our sort of traffic example where all of the bad parts about traffic came out. Um, some cases you can actually see caravans or you can see places where it was difficult to traverse and the robots start jamming up. But we had to do a lot of things to get this system to work.